Eko nene. Eko nene. Na hii ni a YouTube members and Patreon exclusive. So kwa unashindwa kwa nini unafaa kwa a YouTube member? Mm. This is one of the reasons cuz uh, hii jo uh, ita kaapa alafu kigo live I think tutai ita go live in pieces eh? Yeah. Eh, so asa ngine jo anza ni kuchangamka jo mm. hakuna haja kuona show ile unaiona hapo <laughs> lakini uwezi <laughs> watch juu si member yeah. members i think we start as low as 2 dollars mm. mm. eh, so tulibaki tumefika 50 members na 50 members ni i guess ni based on uh, a lot of exclusive content mm. so eh hey, i guess mtu yote anatusikia inamaanisha tayari ni member ama ni patreon uh, ni pe- patreone mm. si ndio patrones yes mm. yes so asanteni sana but leo tuko na ule mse si unajua mm. eh, the dude <laughs> who dude kuna vile alitokea gajo kwa live akabaki amena hizo wase kabisa mse wenyewe anaitwa self made ni aje buda aje ni aje mazee Eh, yeah. so Joey, you are the guy of pheromones. Eh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kulingana na rapture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so uh, unakwaga no eh? Yes sir. So uko Kenya kudu? Ani meka mku cheki family alafu at the end of the day pia lazima upige mwili therapy unajua is to so miss be so. Hata kama unaishi out of the country. Yeah. Lazima turudi home. Oh yeah. okay 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 alafu uh, so size lazima uche kifamilia uche kimadha mother iko area gani iko Nairobi iko acha mother will stay place flani na ndo kitale oh kitale yeah mm. man nishenda ga kitale jo so, eh hey, kuna yeah. i think kuna life flani ulise ultaja yo stuff eh hey, kuna time nime drive mpaka mm. kitale iko na pele lakini mama the funeral flani mm. eh hey, ilikuwa alafu i think nikitoka huko kuna kunanyesha mm. mm go through hell jo because yeah. hakuna kitu mchu kiaka ku drive back kwa nyesha because hiyo ninia wonagi mbele eh wonagi mbele so hata before to bonge na nili uh, self made your stories are no way acha tumuulize jo vitu kadhaa zile zimeha happen kenya mm-hmm. so buda umesikia historia benz ili crash take yeah. kuna dem alipeleka benz yake ilikuwa nini garage yeah. like on a friday yeah. Alafu na mkasato asubuhi yeah. anaona benzi imeingia kwa ukuta. Yeah. Alafu ina trend. Yeah. Kwa msali kwa na driver le daddy. Oh shit. Dema na cheki namba plate anaona ni benzi yake jo. Yeah. Eh, kuna kama mechanic kali ama kuchapa nayo roundi. Oh shit. Mm. Yeah jo. So Buda jo tuambie no way kuna kwa gana gani za ovyo. Ka hizo zinakuaga. Eh huko ni yenye nishaiona mm. maybe Sweden. Mm. Kuna mse ali ali make accident batal kwa maji yeah. alafu sasa unajua eh hey, ukaweza patikana license nini mm. so ile msa alitoka mbio yeah. alitoka mbio mm. and then msa flana kaka like kum represent kweni kama ndo alikuwa na drive yeah. kwa sasa unajua huko kibaki kwa scene mm. okay wakikamu wa kuget mm. kuna venye site kwa ni right. ngori ko ni kama mimi sahi let's say yeah. na nimefanya makosa na ndai alafu ni hepe alafu msekawe ukuje iko ni kama ni wewe unachukua hiyo ngori yeah, so yeah you record yako maybe ni poa kuliko yake mm. yeah alafu hiyo mm. kutestiwa kwa mm. sasa ule msi alikuwa amekunywa tei sasa hiyo oh. oh, ni noma yeah. alafu unajua huko hakuna corruption ka hapa so kuna vitu zingine uwezi get away with so mm. inakuwa ni trick mm. oh, oh, yeah. okay yeah cuz uh, za contract me imagine your story like what what um get nini from you like benz yako itumike weekend na gesio cuz that inaskia kitu hapa hapa Kenya yeah. ni ukipeleka ndaya ya nguvu yeah. any day from Thursday au kuambia hata iza kuitengeneza mpaka Monday oh. alafu na the, over the weekend two things will happen oh, either my mechanic ataenda kukatia nayo kama yeah. wataika haya oh so ndaya yake inaweza kuwa kahired mm. so, iko huko nje mm. inapiga mara hondi huko Unasikia eh hey, kuna Benz uh, iligongwa Kisumu kwa like ah hiyo mimi yangu unachukia ni yako eh eh jo Kenya kuna kwa very dishonest kuna, people enye enye na relate na yeye ni kuna boy wangu fulani tatu artist wangu yeah. sita mtaja lakini mm. alikuwa na bima fulani mm. sasa alikuwa tu na ule boy wa mkono mwenye yeye umfanya mausafi nini so alikuwa anamwachia ki mm. akitaka kwenda place ana yani anamwambia ah leo leo start, start okay yani so kuna mm. place alikuwa ameenda na kwa anataka kwenda na gari mm. kati ya huyo boy mm. kesho yeye alikuwa anapigwa na makarao yeah. umsali anataka akameka accident na yeye gari mm alafu ametukana hadi ule msemo yame sijui amemgonga alisema ati naweza kulipa sijui kuja kwa ofisi yangu nini like leo tukuchocha <laughs> then akaenda MIA mm. so ule boy wangu kabaki na ngori hiyo yeah. ndai i think your case mbaka saiwa na do ako na case kotini yeah. gari tayari iko na dent msemo mwenye alifanya hiyo shughuli amepotea kwa MIA mm. okay. yeah so kuska ude hiyo benz ni right off mm. alafu na ski insurance hizi lipa mm. Uh, so hapo niko umepoteza ndaye 
na hauko nafaa kupoteza. Kwa sasa hiyo ndio kitu inakampia vile Musa Maga. Kuna ndai ukiwa nazo mm. haufai kuzipeleka hizi garage. garage. Za... So mm. kama uwezi ya for DT Dobi buda uwezi ya for Benz. Najua mm. ndani za hard feelings zako but that's that's that's, that's, that's reality. reality yeah. Kama uwezi ya for I think ingine ito Auto Express. Mm. Kuna ingine Auto Express. Mm. Kuna hizo like a certain level of Mm. Kawe story yako unapeleka Benz unapatia some class 8 dropout mm. anafanya guesswork mm. uchekikana ni Boniface Mwangi alionyesha gama post zake kuna vile alienda na Benz mm. kwa sijui ameenda wapi mm. asaidi za nakuru mm. akakuwa na shida fulani akapata utu to class 8 dropout mm. tulifakio <laughs> die mpaka <laughs> ili bidi bebwe ndio <laughs> <laughs> Nairobi yeah just uh, mm. oh, uh, nasi yeah. na nini but this yeah. is like an engineering what in engineering what like Master, masterpiece yeah. alafu unapatia raya Germany, zile yeah. ilikuwa ni shida yeah, kumaliza primary school <laughs> mathematics <laughs> na cheki zizo yeah. inakuwa ni, ni shida jo. so yeah. so so kuna hizo so hizi ndio vitu tujua tunaku invite nazo kwa inchi yeah. 20th of march weka foreigner una filaji are you afraid hii protest na kama Oh kuna wende unanichanua hata pia. Hata mimi mimi <laughs> mother na linchanua yeah. alikuwa anani ananiambia I hope mm. aita interfere na miku kamuko na nini. Eh yeah, yeah. But sidhani kama kuna Me I think after hiyo nini violence at in 207. Yeah, yeah. I think watu wamekuwa machua nini so aitaenda ati kwa ni kama ni kitu inaweza kwa big deal. Itakuwa tu ni vitu peti peti. Sina speed yeah. atakuwa na hizo ma protest aijai ifika fa like ina gonga tu ina solve tu hapo kwa ground na vitu zinaisha eh eh but mostly njoo imekuwa ni juu ya gava gava imekuwa ikijeri strain mm. bila mm. gava kujeri strain it's a whole different thing so let, let's wait and see ka gava ita jeri strain cause waki unleash the police itakuwa ni chaos unajua but so now that's one of the things ile acha tungoje tubaki tumecheki but sasa acha to go back to to wewe na story za za Norway mm. ulijipataje uh, a Scandinavian country ulienda ga Norway kwanza ma zi eh story yangu ni refu but yeah. nda try ku okay mimi mm. eh nikirudi nikirudi back kabisa after yeah. chuo like dream yangu ilikuwa nataka kwenda Yaani tulikuwa ndo tutoka nyenda majuu. Niko na nanga hapo ndo future yangu iko. Yeah. So after chuo eh cuz equity ni rahisi ati unaamka tu na unapata kitu ya ku, like place ya kuenda man. So nilianza na Katara the first place. Oh, okay. So kuna job niliona online walikuwa natafuta ni job ya hotel kuna hotel flani at the Ritz ni yeah, ni yeah. five star hotel flani ziko na branches kadha hey, buda yani najua najua yeah. iko nini jo sisi ni gero but tunajua the Ritz <laughs> si tuliye i am man so <laughs> yeah. mi nika nika check position walikuwa na wanataka msemi nika apply mm. of which si kwa i think nili apply kayo design ya jala senior walikuwa natafuta mse lakini wao unajua vizuri huko qualified but hiyo confidence so mi nili apply ivo yeah then nikaaiti wa Skype interview wakani like then from there nikapata job nikaanza kuchapa job huko yeah. uh, to cut the long story short hiyo job kuna time ilikuja katika so ah. nikarudi home oh, Kenya. so from hiyo stigma wasi wamekutoka life imekuwa ni ngori wakati umeshazo ya ku, ku receive do flani life mm. imekuwa better mm. so nilikuwa na hiyo nini urge ya kutaka kutoka sana mm. so nil try means minge yanaweza then kakuja nikapata nga hasol flani france yeah. so kanti ya kwanza kuingia europe ilikuwa ni france wewe oh, france ulikuwa unaenda kudu ah uh, huko hivyo kuna ilikuwa organization flani ya gava mm. so walikuwa napatia ga wase like nini chance kwa kila walikuwa nataka wase different from different countries mm. different nationalities yeah. so walikuwa natembe like kwa kila ka... nili get online so nili apply so like in kenya walichukua moja let's say track hivyo mm. so hiyo nini ilikuwa ukishafika huko ndio sasa una wana ku refund like so you have to pay everything then ukifika huko ndo atakurudishia yeah. do alafu mimi siko na do nini nini ya nilijasolia venye naweza nikafika mm. na kumunga nikifika Charles de Gaulle hapo nilikuwa na 50 bob ya Kenya ndio nilikuwa don go na mbele nyuma mm. so nilienda France do visa ilikuwa ni ya 1 year so after hiyo 1 year ilikuwa na fund rudi mtaani Mm. But before nitoke hapa cause hiyo ma stigma za kupoteza job Qatar. Eh. Nilikuwa nime research zile countries na cheki. Eh, gani ni ziko na do. So nilikuwa nimeandika Luxembourg, eh. Switzerland, mm. Norway. Eh. So nilikuwa nimesema nikikuja Europa, 
Mm. Whatever happens sirudi home lakini na stick kwa hizo countries nilikuwa nimeka ndio ilikuwa list yangu. Mm. So nikiingia France because visa ilikuwa ni one year. Nilikuwa na try kutafuta a wenye naweza kaa huko bila nini bila bila noma. So hiyo job nilikuwa na do kuna president of organization ni try to convince. So yeah. sasa kuna namwambia directly nataka kubaki. Nilikuwa namwambia zile za yeah. sikuwa nimemada chuo fiti but huku kuna opportunity ya kuendelea kusoma kama wanaweza nisaidia ku extend visa ni nini. But sasa the more naongea nao nimeona ah ah sio wanataka tu malize hiyo tama la furu. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So mimi venye nilifanya I think 6 months after 6 months nikawaambia ni aje hey, mimi kuna emergency imetokea home na kuenda. Mm. But before ni end nilikuwa nimefanya research siku nimeona like from Berlin to Kenya ilikuwa cheaper than from pa, uh, Paris to Kenya. Mm. Cuz uh also wana fa kulipia ndege so siko nataka like wako nikawa na ni wananipeleka kwa airport cuz mimi yeah, kwa roho yeah. yangu najua vizuri hakuna Kenya naenda so yeah. <laughs> awali walilipa from Berlin to So hizi nisindikiza from Paris to yeah. Berlin. So mm. nilijipeleka. So goal yangu ilikuwa nikienda huko sasa ni hivyo ndo tunabaki sasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so even though nili piga soul zone nikakuja nikajipata Norway sasa. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Alafu kabla Norway of course kuna zile stories uletupatia stories mm. funny funny. So hii uh, kukatiwa yako ulikuwa nakatiwa wapi jo? Cuz kwa msiajui one of the funniest things story msa shot patia <laughs> ndio tukaanza kumenjoy as the dude of pheromones. <laughs> <laughs> Ni alikatiwa ilikuwa LD then ukakuja ukakatiwa Qatar mm. na siku katiwa na dem jo. So mm. lazima tujue jo. So um uh, ulikuwa na duni LD Okay LD kuna time uh, so after chuo mostly so unajua after chuo umemada chuo wasengine wanataka kusoma siju ma packages za ko mani yani uh, kitu uh. ya kufanya tu so mimi niliana nikafanya ya dressing cuz it's easy ana ni mbio mbio yeah, cuz yeah. kuna boy wangu fulani nilikuwa najua alikuwa na salu na nilikuwa na anafanya poa mm. so niliana nikafanya nikafanya course ya hair dressing then nikaanza kufanya kwa salon mm, mm. but hiyo time nilikuwa na do ilikuwa kwa boy onekane unafanya job kwa salon i think kuna venye watu wanakuja aje vibaya yeah, yeah. so yeah kulikuwa kwa tuna hizo kuna club flani inaitwa sams i think eh, ilikuwa mostly hapo walikuwa wengi sana mm. so kuna time tumeenda na boy wangu flani hapo kwa club mm. kuna msali kam ali do aku ni approach mimi alenda ka approach best yangu akamba ya matei <laughs> akamwambia na like wewe best yako soon patie namba yake eh Yeah. So <laughs> mimi nashanga mtu anani text kwa WhatsApp. Mm. Na check na check nini profile picture yake ni ule ule msaini nilimuona club unaona. Mm. <laughs> eh jamaa ka insist. Sasa alikuwa anakuambia nini? <laughs> ah vitu za ufala tu so. <laughs> hey, hey, I want to tell that ass. <laughs> <laughs> So huyo <laughs> msesa si ali ali, ali chukua namba from a, my friend. Mm. Ah then nika nikakujanga nika block but ako na mark flani hapa kwa ni makubwa yenye mtu hezi sawa like kwa hapa. Mm. So hiyo story kapita hivyo mimi nikalenga hiyo story. So after some time mm. kuna Akuja salon. Ah sa um huyo mzee kwanza ako married. So after yeah. some time brother yake na stay at no brother in law sasa brother huyo yeah, yeah. wife wake. Yeah, yeah. Ana stay states na alikuwa amekuja like a vacation or something. So zitukapata mm. na nae. Mm ile vile mtu enda tu mnakunywa kwa club sisi tukaanza kuongea story gani ati eh hey, hii mm. mambo ya ushoga ni nini ni then all of a sudden kusema baadaye kuna msemu mwingine mm. alikatiaga club na nashindwa mm. akaniambia unaweza kuona picha yake nikasema nili block number yake but hebu ni angalie kama profile picture yake iko nikuonyeshe yeah, yeah. so kumuonyesha eh hey, akamwambia hebu tulia kwanza mm. so ku relax ndio kaniambia huyo ni brother in law yake ame marista yeah. yake yeah, yeah. na sister yake amekuwa complain about hizo suspicions za huyo msi anaweza kwa oh, oh, okay So alikuwa anataka nimsaidie kwa kama evidence, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Ah, na hiyo time sa ukipatiwa do fulani na hiyo time eh, ilikuwa iko tu sawa deal. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikaanza kuchapia huyo mse tukapatana kwa restaurant fulani. So mm-hmm. ilikuwa point ilikuwa uh, tukianza kubonga mm-hmm. asi wa show up. Yeah, yeah. So huyo bro uh, brother in law huyo mse aka show up. Mm-hmm na wakakuja kumpata redand so ile nye cuz kila time huwa na mnini anaruka so umse alikuwa amefuata uh, literally rasa yako kutoka LD mpaka na hii ama mlikipata nape si na hii iko ku set up mlim set up wapi eh na hii yeah eh sasa alikuwa anataka rasa so me really want that right me mali nataka kuuliza tu swali ni 
nikikamli wa get kwa meza mnabonga siwezi mm. siwezi conclude yeah, so yeah. ni nini hao watu walifanya yeah, yeah. ile ku, kujua sawa wamemshika renda red hand point ni yeah. Yeah. Mimi si mimi ndo kama shahidi. Yeah. Mimi ni witness. Oh, so unasema tu ni, ni kama, your word against his. Ni kama yeah. tuseme mtu amesema we, we ni mwizi. Yeah. Uh, na huyo mtu let's say unasema gani rafiki yako. Mm. Uh, so jina uh, ipotaje. But anyway like huyo mse yeah. yeah, amesema yes 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 ishoga. Eh yeah, ndio unasema yeah. sasa yeah. sasa yeah huyu mse mwenye tumekupata naye sisi ndo tumemnini like tumemdisguise tume ni kama tu sisi in other words uh, yeah, so yeah. of course haizi haizi explain kwa sababu sasa ni redundant cause uh, mimi ndo nimekuwa na niko na chat nini kila kitu so hakuna oh, vile ataruka oh, alafu oh, mimi oh. ni kama witness uh, so, si, si even the courts nini wana wana make decision yeah, yeah. Oh. si nini judge wa kui kwa kwa scene so, La, Yeah. Sawa so, lazima tuulize hizi mm. chat scenes zilikuwa incriminating. Ali mko mko alikuwa mkoandikia nini? Ah mazeni some bullshit. Ah si good Johnny Conan. Eh what am I YouTube members were feeling like they, they they get it, they are getting what they paid for. Yeah. Ah ni some bullshit yani. Yani mm. ah, ni ule tu ile vitu za eh, msi ana kuuliza niaje. Mm. Maze unajua kudishia na fiti jo mi. <laughs> Mimi na, na venye na kucheki na jua mazao game yako iko fit ni nini. Eh eh eh. Eh mavitu tu za ufala ufala. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ndio hiyo mtego iko mzuri pia lazima u reply. Eh. So people gonna reply aje. Eh. Ah um, is ready. Eh yeah, game yako <laughs> zizi. Zi. So una msho ah point ni unajua kama hasa ah, anakuwa desperate sana. So yeye kama anakudai ana unajikutaenda na chat sana. Mm. Ujai unataka kukatia demo mwenye ni kama ah, hiko idha yako mm. utapata umetuma message ka kumi alafu yamejibutuka moja okay. mm. yeah, so ina kwa gani hivyo okay. oh. anatuma sana wewe <laughs> ni moja moja tu one more dancers mm. some kio kwa desk uh, mko kwa restaurant mm. uh, the two of you are holding hands nini tena na hapa ah kuna holding hands <laughs> unajua sasa cuz yeah. hapa si open kama majuu cuz mm. yes mnaweza kwa nini si kwa yani ndugu yangu tunaomba <laughs> tunaomba <laughs> lakini nini <laughs> Hapa si sidhani kama imefika hiyo extend yenye sasa watu wanaifanya in public hapa mm. though ya yeah, iko but sasa mse mkibonga nae of course haezi kuwa tachi tachi ni niko place public lazima muende yeah. place private so yeah, yeah. so mlenda restaurant gani man sikumbuki ilikuwa ni tabu but ilikuwa tu ni ni restaurant flani yenye kuna garden inje so yeah. tulikuwa tumechill hapo mm. asi aka show up brother in law akamwambia mm. buda <laughs> hii story mazao meko kiruka sana <laughs> yeah cause wakati wife wake alikuwa na ball mm. alikuwa anasikia rumors machaliwa analitwa gakejani hapo oh, nini oh, oh, okay. yani wife wake alikuwa alikuwa hosi for some time mm. na hata umse akaenda kumuona eh, eh. so alikuwa analeta machali kwa nyumba mm. Ya, yeah, mane bando alikuwa anasema so wakiambiwa anaruka. Mm, mm. yeah. So nini ka happen? Family ka break. Of course na kani wewe. Mm. Point ilikuwa tu anataka um, yani wamshoniaje umekokata mm. lakini this is the reality mm. so leo tumekupata mm. leo. Yeah. So, in... so tuambie mm. kama uko na kitu ya kusema. So of yeah. course ana kitu ya kusema. So indirectly tunaweza mm. sema wewe ni home wrecker. Yeah, ah, Sit <laughs> 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 now do the right <laughs> thing and you know happen. So but he was living his truth. So no, um, it was not his truth kwa sababu hakuwa come out. Unajua mm-hmm. come out ni sawa watu wanajua eh hey, msia me come out. Mm-hmm. Cuz yeah, yeye alikuwa kwa ni married. So mm-hmm. yeye yeah, according to what wanajua kwa married. But at least hakuwa ipatia wife ma venereal ama alikuwa amempatia kwa sana so waga more prone to venereal than mm-hmm. or to or to street Ac- yeah. according to wife mm. ule mse like akwa na mpea like attention na vitu kai hizo yeah. which is good as long as mm. kali mpatia mtu hii bila venereal she should mm. be happy mm. thank the dad ayo mtu hii i think ilikuwa ni bati katu bati mbaya venereal unajua mm. bo, si bora tu penetration si lazima like yeah, yeah, si lazima ball tu ni yeah, so hiyo yeah, yeah. ball ili, ili come to like nka bati mbaya mm. yeah, alafu yeah. alikuwa anataka tu kitu ya kusafisha rada so mm. so hapa uh, kwa restaurant kulikuwa na commotion ile design ya Z. Yeah. Ule 
unajua ni kama sayo kipata mwizi redanded haizi mm. hata kama ni akona miraba minne haizi ongea mm. cuz wezi like hauna hiyo power ya hauna hiyo bargaining power so unaweza kuwa umekonda Mm. Alafu mwizi ni mbigi lakini juu mmemshika ananyenyekea mazi anaomba. <laughs> eh, eh, so eh. akuta kwa na commotion. Huyu msana T, ana T. Eh. Oh, mm. so ali bakitu ame amekubali. Ame amekubali. Oh, okay. So hiyo ilikuwa ni Kenya. Mm. Alafu pheromones zako zikakuingiza kwa shida tena Qatar. So Qatar iliendaje? Ulifanya mpaka ka So Qatar alafu fulani akasema wallahi nataka hiyo. <laughs> Yeah. So Qatar niki, nilikuwa na, nikifanya job kwa hoteli mm. kuna wao wanakuaga kama wa ni kama ma prince yeah, yeah. so kuna mmoja alikuwa anaitwa wao anaitwa Sheikh so mm. Sheikh Ahmed mm. alikuwa anaitwa actually Sheikh Ahmed mm. alikuwa anakuja eh hey, alikuwa anakaa na magari hizi ma Rolls Royce mm. so mimi nilikuwa napenda hiyo design nikicheck hizi mandai mm. nataka tu hata unapiga ka picha una post pale IG ni nini Eh, Sasa siku moja nikamwomba nipige picha kaniambia kwa nini upige picha shika kifungu piga lap piga lap yeah. sasa so, ikaanza ga hivyo ah mimi nikajua tu ni msemfiti mwenye mm. ameamua ku bless mazee unatoka Afrika mazee jibambe mm, mm. na alikuwa anaweza magari kibao hizi ma sports ka mingi eh yeah, yeah. so all of a nilikuwa na mcheki akikam kwa room suko anakam sasa mimi nilikuwa najua na kama na madem mimi sanapenda madem kumbe after some time ka discover ni machali wana va buibui ile ka ninja mm-hmm. so chali anapiga hiyo buibui ana kama anaingia anatoka Mach- so, machali warabu ama wa eh, machali wa ah, mostly wa mostly alikuwa na deal na unaona kama hawa filipino wenye wamekama eh, 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 wengi wako desperate alafu unajua mm-hmm. wasi wenye anapiga ukiona mtu wote mwenye anafanya job nje ana ako, ako desperate anataka do so mm. i think wana take advantage and do msa me kama hapa kusaka do so mm. any mm. ama for na for na so yeah so no kuja ku discover yeah ana ana safisha rada yo design like watu na va bui bui mm. so unajua kama wewe unaangalia tu from the outside utaona ni dem flani unaona mm. so nika kuja ku discover i see wako wangi ma dem ni machali mm. so siku moja akakuja kaniambia i mean kama ambia hiyo itakuwa ni trick eh hey, alikwambia tu bend over bend over bend over Eh ali niambia nataka kubadilisha life yangu jo. <laughs> <laughs> kama kama na agree kwa mtu wake, ah life inabadilika. Eh. Yeah. Eh ali nza tu nataka nini kwa dunia yani. Ai ni kama mbe mzee itakuwa tricky. What's the price of your soul? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Eh. Yeah, hiyo ni nini? Mimi nilisema fadhali nirudi mtaani kama hiyo itakuwa the only way so, I can. So is it time alikuwa anakupatia ndaye? Hako anakocheka kitu pia. Je sasa ni of course alikuwa na kuku ina ina mwagi wa mtama sasa mm. alikuwa na nipe andai ka kitu mm. of course tip ilikuwa ni lazima yeah. ukifanya job mostly kwa nini but mimi nilikuwa nime hiyo ni skill nilikuwa nimejundia ukiona msana kam na ka una kako na bugs na mwambia wacha nikusaidie kubeba nini mm. by the time nafika hivi kwa room lazima kwa check it i think yeah. wase wote na kama hapo alafu katari kulikuwa na hiyo wanaita shukran like ni lazima like yeah, hata mimi yeah. nilikuwa place na peana tip ilikuwa ni kama mm. yani ni lifestyle yao lazima upeane tip yeah, yeah. oh so uh, haku jam cuz na guess kama unasema ni shake fulani si lazima kuiko na powers zingine za you're going to lose your job <laughs> haku jam cuz i think in kali ni understand mm. So ile fika time nikakuwa kama pimp wake kuna nilimpimp boy fulani anatoka oh. Nepal. Yeah. So ali niambe fanye hivi nitafutie mseu huko kwa job job yenu huko. Mm. Sasa kuna boy fulani anatoka Nepal. Mm. Nikampatia. Mm. Like mimi nimwambia eh kuna shek fulani unajua mtu akisikia hivyo haiwezi uh-huh. kata. Yeah. So ile yeah. boy wa Nepal mm. ali hata wiki haikuisha mm. alikuwa ametafutiwa job. Sasa anafanya na fly Dubai kama oh. cabin crew. Yeah. yeah so Mm. Alafu mm. nishaisikia gayo room ama ka uh, to be a good cabin crew. Mm. Uh-huh. Una need kwa hapo borderline. Unajua uh-huh. borderline uh, straight stroke. Cuz no man is born to be that happy. Unajua hile like. Kushindo ki smile. So ndio unapata ga au my boy mm. wengi wale we excel kwa hiyo job. Mm. Waga ni waso jirani. Yeah, so we have some kind of connections na nini. So uboy una na wiki kisha ali quit job hapo mm. akaanza kufanya job fly dubai all of a sudden jamako fit ya yeah. mm. but mimi kajiambia mimi acha ni afadhali nirudi mtaani kama hiyo ndio the only way ya ku make do mm. kama wewe ni msa wa jambo jete hai wacha kwa kwa tu ni hivyo so so kitu kama hiki happened uh, cuz 
the picture i have of qatar ni picha nyingine ya vitu kai hizi hazifai ku happen so unasema zina happen ni kitu cause niko sure hotel iko inajua ah ni maboy sa kitu naweza kuambia mm. kwa kwa dunia i think vitu mingi on the inside mm. inakonga na vitu mingi za zimejifusa zenye watu wao ni nje mm. for example mm. kipe, kama states vile watu wana wanaiona from the outside watu wenyewe hajui anything about mm. kama tuseme hii place inaitwa the biggest kuna the biggest wase wenyewe wako homeless sana ni hii place inaitwa America eh. yeah so kuna ule mse ukimwambia ati kuna mtu homeless America anashanga aje eh, eh, mm. eh. so i think ina apply to kila mahali kwa waso ka Qatar hiyo picture ya umepotray wase wako strict nini nini mm. sasa vitu mbaya i think huko ni kama Sodom and Gomorrah like, vitu mbaya mbaya zina happen eh, ba eh. zina nini kuna kuna nini kuna mse fulani pia alikuwa tu sheikh fulani alikuwa anakujanga kwa hotel yeah. i think ni kama mse alikuwa anachizi akikunywa tea mm. ule mse alikuwa anaenda hadi ana, ananyoro kwa ATM eh yeah. oh so, unajua hotel kwa hadi na ATM nini yani mm. wanamuona lakini hakuna kitu mtadu yeah, hata mkita makarao akikaa eh hey, wana hepo akiona ni mm. so mm. unacheki kitu kai na happen lakini kwa mfano saa kama nikifanya job hapo ni kwa ili try nini zinaitwa um my departments different different so nikona kaka kwa department because kuko na privilege yeah, unaweza yeah. kaka kwa department after some time unaenda una train watu another department yeah, yeah so nil, nil try ka kufanya nini let's say ka security kwa nini kwa maizo ma club nilifanya kama 3 months nikaacha like for example hizo rules za Qatar how far kuingia na dish dash yo kwa nini kwa club vitu mm, kazi mm. so unapata mse kama wewe anakuja amepiga hiyo dish dash amejia nayo dish dash ne i think ni kanzu hiyo oh, wanaita oh. dish dash hiyo oh, kanzu oh. Eh. na hiyo tabani yao nini au oh, fai kuingia nayo kwa au fai hiyo fai kuingia kwa club hata makara wake kama ni noma but mimi sasa hiyo ni job yangu unaambia mse ni aje eh anakuambia utakuja aje kwa nchi yangu kunipatia rules eh, eh. ukichapia song yako na kuambia wewe maze fanya kazi yako like hakuna kitu unaweza do so mm. kulikuwa na vitu haya ah, clubs au zinafaa kufunga by saa sita mm. so unapata ama sheikh amekamo na katapu day mm. saa sita imefika lakini mwezi funga yeah, yeah. utaambiwa ite karao so kuna vitu kama hizo zenye naweza sema wale wenye ni wabigi wana wanazifanya sana like wame take off control like mm. so hizo vitu zina happen mbali na sana hata umalai na happen katar mm, mm nimesikia sana kwa podcast ukisema mtu akienda huko ana stay away si from nini nini but yeah, 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 madem yeah. wengi wa Nigeria wa Uganda wa Kenya wanafanya umalaya like we, wako like ni job wanaenda kwa maklabu na wanapiga umalaya wenye wanatoka Morocco actually wengi Morocco wapi wapi mm. so prostitution iko pia inafanyika but yeah, yeah. mtu mwenye ajaenda is expect ati kuna prostitution place ka Qatar eh yeah, yeah. yeah. najua yeah. kwa zile ile picture ina kwa gap painted niyo like very conservative mm. eh cuz that he world cup you know japeli he help ku paint your picture mm. so kumuka mm. cuz like the best world cup it come to no violence no what no rowdiness mm. eh, so i guess kuna like a basis for that so yeah. ini qatar mm. so qatar of course now a sheik came for your ass i love sasa hii place ya transgender ilikuwa wapi ilikuwa ni Norway ama France France oh so, ilikuwa France mm, so nikiingia oh. France mm. so mimi si hope zangu zilikuwa hata nikipata dem mazemo mwenye anaweza niokolea hata nikapata like papers nini nini mm. so nilingia France nikapata na dem fulani kwa train nikamkatia yeah. mm. alikuwa mfiti tuka exchange na namba so tulikuwa tunaendelea tu kuongea like hiyo mm. wiki yote so tukapanga tunapata na weekend fulani mm. akaniambia niende kwake Mm. But your previous night before ni sema naenda kwake. Mm. Akani show by the way you should know I'm a transgender. Mm. Uh, nikasema haina shida iko sawa. Mimi unajua nimetoka Africa. Sikuwa nime hiyo wada na sikuwa nimeisikia. Mm. Kitu nilif, nilifikiria nilidhani mm. ni bisexual. Ah, nikasema kama ni bisexual mimi na ina news una nini. Yeah, Ke kama yeah. napenda both maacha <coughs> na madem mimi sina shida. Mm. But nikafikiria ah, nikasema pana nika call best yangu fulani nikamuuliza. Mm. What do you understand by the term transgender? Mm. akacheka mazaka niambia ina mancha a b c d mm. ah mimi nikasema pana kulingana na hii explanation it makes sense hebu google mm. nione google nasemaje <laughs> eh yeah. so according to google eh tena nikashanga easy words mimi sielewi mm-hmm. nikasema wacha tu ni call you them directly nimuulize venye mimi nataka kujua tu kiko nini yeah. so nikamuuliza uko na mjulus <laughs> ama uko na pudesh <laughs> 
akaniambia ako na mdudu sababu aliniambia ni hivyo ai nika nilimblock to from there sasa niko na imagine kesho yake kama ningeenda kijani ingekoaje ningepata trauma ama hata taka masjidi kwani ningekapitia hapo najua shida ni nini upata ni transgender lakini alikuwa amebarikiwa akamwambia whoever has the bigger one bends the other one Hey, <laughs> unatoka hapo jo umekubali <laughs> hizo jo lakini yeah. umekapitia yeah. hey, ilikuwa ilikuwa noma na ni msupu fit hata niko na picha zake nini baada shonda kutumia uone like nilisema sit i delete kwa sababu <laughs> yeah. mimi nauliza no, kila mtu wewe ukiangalia <laughs> unaona ni dem ama ni chali kila mtu nikimuuliza ananiambia ni dem <laughs> so mimi nilikuwa sielewi like ako na boobs zimesimama nini ni like ana cut to dem yeah but ni 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 kuna mjulu ako na mjulu sasa ndio difference so hapo ndio ilibidi ni understand the differences so kuna transgender yeah. kuna mm. transsexual mm. so transsexual ni wale wenye sasa wamefanya the full thing mm. operation oh. wametoa oh, okay okay kama alikuwa na mjulu sasa ametoa kuna venye wana yeah, operate wana try ku modify kwa kama ni sa transsexual wamefanya mm. Mm. everything complete transgender wamefanya everything apart from nini organs zimebaki vile vile eh eh yeah cuz hiyo transsexual na kuoga mm. tikigima dem ucheka sama dem transgender men si ni mm. madem wame try kugeuka kwa machali mm. hata au get designer dicks mm. yeah. alafu auenda eh hey, auenda ga for strictly like the biggest the most what mm. na kwa gatu ni jinga to kabisa alafu unapata ya kishadu hizo jinga zote mm. uzampata akienda up na na na, na dem mm. so na shindo u dem Are you actually uh, nini kuzo dem ataenda up na eh maybe ni lesbian mm. sina kwa you are straight from day one eh but dem kikam to history na kwa confusing ba mm. raya za nini ndio inakuwa ga eh hey, but buda umekapitia je so hiyo time sili kuchukua long sana kuweza kukatia ama cuz mimi naweza kuwa worried okay Kaza so shindu, kitu hey. kitu ili happen i think with time mm. si siwezi ku explain na juaga aje but squeeze niki nikikaribia ama transgender ama kuna kwa voice fulani venye anaongea na feel mm. uni chali mm. yeah. na niki, sasi sina kitu yenye muangalia siwezi kuambia najua aje but squeeze mtu akiniongelesha mm. tukiongea too closely ndajua like hiyo kuna sauti i think as much kuna vitu au umeweza ku change voice haikuangi yeah. yeah. clearly kabisa so kuna venye itatoka na yani even though me i think na na, na, na learn mm. so nikiongelesha dem na skill tu i sauti hapana Mm, mm. sauti ina sound ni chali mm. so even ndo mi ujua squeeze ni sauti na ficha adam sapola mm. eh, kuna ka, kuna sauti tu na feel hapana mm. yes ni dem lakini like, haye sauti hapana <laughs> eh yeah. love sasa after hapo uh, the next thing ilikuwa the saga in berlin mm. yenyewe jo eh hey. hey, hey, umekapitia <laughs> <laughs> karibu kila country jo iko na experience yeah, so the saga in berlin so berlin ulikuwa na sama ni msali kwa na kwa embassy Eh bana embassy ya Kenya na embassy. Eh Kenya na embassy. Mm. Oh okay. Mm. So mimi nilikuwa nimeenda nimeenda tu sherehe zangu huko Berlin. Mm. Mm. Alafu sasa ile mosi ni kongana hizo za unaenda maybe Facebook una, unatafuta mm. Kenyans living there have to yeah, yeah. So nikapatana na mkenya fulani Facebook tukaanza kuongea tukapatana nikamwambia kama place gani inaweza nini. Mm. So tukaenda place na yeye akanibia kila kitu. Mm. Like alichukua bag Mm. Na penda kuwa na kaba kadogo is in essential so unapata kuna mm. passport nini nini yeah. uh, wallet so alichukua hiyo bag kwa na kila kitu akahepa mm. so mimi nikakuwa stranded sasa nikashindwa nifanyaje yeah. nimeenda police station but then iko na worst experience sana na, na Germany cause mm. mm. asen wa racist alafu kama uonge ki Germany nikawa hezisaidika yeah. yeah. so police station na jaribu kwa explain hata wananjibu tu na doge mm. ah. mm. so mimi nikasema kitu likam nikasema by the way tuko na embassies kila ka, nini country yeah. so ni kwa shindwa naweza pataje Kenya na embassy in Berlin so nikitembea town nikapata na dem fulani akanisaidia kucheki kwa maps mm. akanambia iko place fulani so nikafuata hiyo nini hiyo barabara venye naenda hadi kwa kwa nini yeah. kwa kwa embassy so vile yeah. nilifika embassy mm. nika explain nini situation yangu yeah au yule msia akaniambia usijali akanipatia doa akaniambia enda upige pige lap mm. kama unaweza bye kitu tukifigure out tunaweza fanya aje mm. so nilienda kumbe wase 
walikuwa na try ku relocate tu mse alafu vetu kwa tunachat ne mm. ukikuwa na ukikuwa na namba ya mse mm. kuna vile unaweza get hadi address na kila kitu eh, eh. so i think alipigia watu akaambia ni hazi hizo vitu zenye umechukua za wenyewe it's either let hapa ama tukujie eh. so oh, i think okay. akaona ah ana chana nini ana choice cause Mm. Hata mimi I think nikupea namba yangu ya Noro kikuja huko. Mm. Kienda kwa karau sema mimi msamefanya hivi wanaweza trace hadi address paka pengine na kaa kwa yeah. details zote. Yeah. So wao mse ilibidi amejileta akaleta kila kitu. Mm. Mimi nika kama hapo akanipatia vitu zangu. Mm. Ah tukaacha na roho safi. So sikuwa na kitu ya kusema as long as nimepata vitu zangu. So akuwa arrested, alikuwa arrested. Zi sa tasiniemba si emba si si police hey, station. Hey, 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 Nile okay. tu. Mm. I think wali mwambia tu wape ana na uishie. Mm. So cause ilikuwa ni late ilikuwa almost wanataka kufunga kitu mm. maybe 4 3 to 4. Mm. Mi nilikuwa naangalia basi yangu siwezi. So nilikuwa nafaa kwenda Poland the following day. So ikabidi yeah. ni book kitu kingine. Mm. So ule mwenye alinsaidia. Mm. Ilikuwa kabuda fulani. I guess I guess ako niki range ako ali ali 50 za hapo ama yeah. 56 hapo. Yeah. So akaniambia badala uende kulala kwa hoteli mm. since tumeshinda tukifanya issue ugli asubuhi na wewe tunatoka home mm. si ni cost tu kwangu niko na nyumba kubwa naweza tulia then mm. kesho wewe travel yeah, yeah. ani kona be then na make sense sasa kwa nini naumsa mimi niokolea mm. kwanza asubuhi so mm, mm, mm. tukatoka ofisi mm. tukaenda place ya food kabai pombe tukaenda kwa nyumba so tukakula then tukaanza kunywa pombe mm. But sasa mimi na kwa na hiyo phobia nikiingia kwa nyumba ya mtu especially mm. Chalina tuko solo mm. na tengi kuangalia angalia environment kukoje kama yeah. useni bachelor unajua kuna venye mtu amemari unaweza ona picha mm. viatu ya mdem ama kitu yeah, yeah. but nyumba yake na complain sana ni kama nikawa naishi solo so nikamuuliza eh hey, hii miaka yote mazee hauna mtu akaniambia nilikuwa mm. na wife lakini tuli separate so sign solo mm. Mm. Yeah, ni can understand maybe kuna separation si juu. Mm. So the moment tulikuwa tunaendelea kukunya time ina songa. Mm. Ilifika point na shanga, eh hey, sofa set jo tunafinyana sana. Because <laughs> living room ni kubwa. Hata mtu akiingia hapo anaweza shindwa mbona? Hao yeah. si wanafinyana kwa sofa set. Tuko katikati. Eh si mtu anaweza kaa pale mwingine ake pale. So mm-hmm. Ah, mimi nikasema maybe amefry a company wacha Mm. Acha ajibamba amepata mtu wa mtani. So ikakuwa mm. nivo. So tukaendelea tu kunywa. Mm. Aika fika mali nasikia jamaa ananiguza guza mapaja <laughs> na shindwa. Do I could hit kwanza cuz unajua sometimes ukunyanga pombe unakuwa nika una hallucinate. Mm. So na feel ah inaonekana hizi pombe ni kama zimeshika. <laughs> Mimi naona tu vitu zangu. Mm. Si 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 reality cuz <laughs> sikuwa na believer ti wewe msa anaweza fanya kitu kayo cuz ningekuwa nishampea respect sana. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So with time eh jamaa anaendelea every aliendelea sana mm. wakati lin hit so nikaanza kuangalia around hapo kuna sila gani tu mzuri because <laughs> nilikuwa naona hapa hivi the the worst case scenario hapa tutakuwa ni uomba siwezi kuwa nimetoka all the way kuanzia huko makata nimeacha ma deal mingi yenye inge change life yangu jai kitu alafu all of a sudden ukuja u give in kwa vitu zenye hata excited kwa life naona so yeah, yeah cause tulikuwa tunakunywa kuna mzinga ilikuwa hapo ya chupwa mm. nilichukua nikaigongesha hivi kwa meza ikapasuka ikakuwa kama vi mm. sasa mimi nikamwambia fanya hivi hapa mm. hivi Berlin kesho asubuhi mm. kwa news it's either kuna mtu atakuwa amekufa kwa hii building sasa we chagua kama ni mimi ama itakuwa ni wewe <laughs> so vile alisikia hivyo akakimbia kwa room akajifungia ndani <laughs> alikuwa ameingiza njeve mbaya so mimi nikashindwa kudoze <laughs> nikapack tu vitu zangu sana nikasimama tu hapo kwa sito nikaangalia time yani sioni asubuhi kifika yeah, yeah. asubuhi nikapanda train mm. then wakati nilikuwa kwa train na amenitumia message mm. at i'm sorry about last night but next time ukikuja berlin mm. wewe jua tuko na brother mm. unaweza kuja utembe so nilikuwa na shindo huu hata hiyo message si kujibu kwa <laughs> yeah, yeah, mse yeah. anafikiria anaweza kuja berlin alafu ni mtafute tena <laughs> Safadali ulipe. Sasa nilikuwa nimeshindwa kulipa hoteli but mm. eh. Hey, it was a long ass night. Hizo jo. Sasa ni kamiti ya. Eh wacha tu. So obuda bado nafikiri bado na wakemba si ama li ama lazima na wako sababu something funny mimi sijui na kwa na shida gani sijui ingi ku nikaa ku put watu off. Hata mm. niko sure maybe na mbake bado niko nao kwa sim cause mm 
kuna best yangu hiyo wakati Kenya ili introduce hizi passport mpya mm-hmm. kuna best yangu Poland so unaona ukikoa Poland it's hawana Ke- Kenyan embassy in Poland mm-hmm. so alikuwa anataka nakumbuka kuna mtu unajua mtu Berlin embassy nataka nikampea na mbao mse nikamwambia unga na ukapea na rasa ya something funny siji kwa nini in one or another was delete v2 easy contacts naweza kana kitu hata miaka 10 cause hata ukipoteza simu na ngatu na sync vitu zote zinakuja cause siko kwa google nini so sionangi yani nakaaga tu yeah eh but you ni some shit cause sasa huyu mse kalienda alafu kwa violated yeah, so anaweza kukumbuka sio ongea na yeye si ndio anaweza kusema but i think uh, i think waliongea tu online mm. akasaidiwa kupata passport yeah. alituma details na akafanya payments alafu i think alitumiwa tu kwa hadi sidhani kama kama alienda huko oh, physically mm. yeah sidhani yeah, kuza ngeenda physically pia ndio kwa kulaumu mpaka leo kwa sababu yeah. hata hata nore pia kuna Kenya namba si ukitaka shughuli za Kenya namba si unaenda Stockholm Sweden oh hakuna oh. mm. siji kuna countries zingine uweze access services za embassy za nchi yako so mm. Kenya namba si hakuna uh, Norway yeah mm. oh, yes kuna jo mm. yoni ni nene sana so uh, <coughs> so isn't it is a drama za za sexual harassment hakuna mm. drama zote zile za at least opportunities without any harassment ama so ja, maybe some regrets along the way opportunity ilikuwa ile hainge ku violate ama principles zako cuz Op- hizi zako mingi zimekuwa tu ni gimme yes <laughs> okay so ukisema mm. opportunity like what do you mean ku zisi unaweza fika pali eh yeah. yeah. unaweza fika pali alafu kuna opportunity fulani but at that moment you don't think it's something significant ah, umeyacha okay. then time ushaishi your place for long and it's like damn i should have taken that opportunity akuja kuwa na hizo zile za like me opportunities and nimekuwa naona ni zenye in future inaweza kuleta ngori yeah, but sasa unaangalia okay for example kama kayo design ya shapapi nime approach na wasekibao yeah, yeah. unapata msana kwa mbeni aje niko na kama 10 million but yeah. sina account ya kuweka yeah. naweza kuweka account yako then utach kwa kiwango fulani kiwango fulani mm. so unapata yenyewe ni legit but sasa ile njeve cuz mm. wakianza ku trace wewe ndo utabaki kwa ngori yoni account ya nowe eh yes, una, unaona manager wengi maskamas mm si unaona mtu cash hapo unapata kuna account karibu zijinga hapo all over mm. the world so yeah, yeah. unapata au hizi kwa tin account moja na wakigonga do mahali let's say wamehack arsenal yeah. wa mabia do hiyo do ana try kuid distribute kila mahali yeah. so yeah. wanatafuta wase wenye wako willing ku ku receive your do kwa account zao mm then utalipo do yako mm. then kukuwa na noma sa mwenye account ndo anauliza ya yeah, so kuna but, kwa but no way vile kuna jela za za za, za starehe kwa mm. nini ogopa because us ndio tricky because mimi kile nzata kujua ni umerob nani umerob uh, wanaitangwa nani san francisco whatever ama mm. san san jose earthquakes mm. ama something i think kuna kwa team kai ama new york red bulls mm. ama umerob team ya no way maybe nitonga ni molde molde ni mold rosenberg molde hizo mm. ukina okay, umerob mold mimi niko tayari cuz jela pale si nitaenda zile jela za but sasa shida ya nore ni mm. okay like mimi mi hata kukua nore ama kukua maju mostly naangalia gaf like future ya my family watu yeah, yeah. so kila kitu yenye na do kama itakuja kwa affect my future ya watu hii nini naona it's not worth it cuz sasa saa hii mm. let's say nimecheza kitu ngori wamenishika yeah yeah uta serve time yako na maybe udipotiwe yeah, sasa yeah. unaona umea affect future dunia yako mm. ama kama ungekuwa na expect mtu in future of which angekuja apate pepa kwa sababu yako sasa wewe juli dipotiwa sasa hizi pata pepa anakuja kuanzia life hapa yeah, yeah. lakini kina, lakini mm. si na guess wa, wa junior yako si ni walizaliwa tu nowe yeah but nasema ndakwambia aje Mm. Mimi nasema yani kwa ile like ndo naanza life yeah, cuz hizo yeah. vitu na kwa msi ndo nilikuwa naanza life. Yeah. Though hata sasa hivi pia kuna vitu kama hizo but sasa hata kama wako huko mm. na ume deportiwa sasa mm. uwezi waona wakitaka kuona lazima wakamuko. Moja mm. mm. ndio unaweza kubana ndio si haionekana like hata EU si hai Kenya. Eh EU eh. Eh sasa hata ukitaka kuja ati maybe kuja Sweden na kuja hapo kwa boda wa kucheki mm. inakuwa ni ngori. Mm. Kuna msemaji alibaniwa kuingia Norway. Mm. Swali so, kwa ngana mtu wa toyo wake, yana ishi Sweden sawa so, toyo naletwa hapo kwa boda wanaongea. Ah. Wanarudi. Oh. But sasa kuna ile crime ukifanya Norway wanaweza ku ban all over. Yeah. Enyaros Caribbean Norway, okay, uko mbali kabisa. Mm. 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 Afu Norway kwanza nini? 
pia huwa gaina share border na Russia si ndio yeah yeah but eh, ni mbali na north actually mm. eh, mtu wangu anatoka hizo side za karibu na border ya Russia yeah, yeah. yeah. kuna mtu anaitwa Hashta mm. so kutoka hapo mpaka Russia si mbali oh yeah. so so kuna languages wana share no way na Russia zina share mazi zi Norway kuna lugha tatu mm. official mm. kuna Norwegian Mm. Kuna Ninosh. Mm. Na kuna yeye inaitwa Suomi. Oh, oh. Sasa Suomi wana kwa Hizi ma community ndogo kama hapa Kenya zinazikuwa neglected ni gani? Ah, ah, akina Ugiek. Ah kama yeye. Eh, so. eh kitu kama hiyo sasa kuna wanaitwa Suomi. Mm. Yoni language in Norway. Lakini kama hawatambui. Mm. But sasa language zao ni tatu ya Suomi, mm. Norwegian na Ninosh. Mm. So oh. zondo dialect zao. Alafu hizo dialects pia zina kama na, na size like hizi ya big big kaki na uh, Holland mm. is it a specific like uh, tribe ama ama ni, ni, Z- ni just cuz najua mm. akina Holland so kuna hiyo Viking blood cuz mm. Vikings originally kwa mostly Norwegians, mm. ndio? Mm. So uh, alafu hizi tutoka na Odegaard kama say small. Mm. So hapo inaendaje? Is it still the same? I think uh, eh, hiyo swali ni ngumu. So okay, venye no rule wanapenda kuji define. Mm. Wanapenda kuji define tu na penye wanatoka like yeah. Kama mtu wangu anapenda kusema ni kuona ji seclude I'm from the north. Yeah, Sasa yeah. the north hata ukisikia dialect yao ni kama waelewani. Mm. So tuseme mtu ametoka the north amekuja kaa Oslo. Yeah. Wakianza kubonga Norwegian. Mm. Huyo mse wa no, Oslo anaongea Norwegian bookmall. Yeah. Na hiyo bookmall ndo ni ni, ni like ni kama official. So hata sisi tukisoma tunasoma bookmall cause mm, mm. kama hizo maneno shikma nini ni kama mtaelewana. So unapata kuna words mingi mtu akisema unashindwa na maanisha nini. Mm, so mm. I think wana jini ni alafu kaa wenye wanatoka north me feel ni kama wa Afrika. Yeah. Hata wanapenda vitu zetu zetu kuongea like muziki vitu kama hizo. Mm. Alafu wao wanatoka sides zingine Mm. mostly wa nini wako different hata nikawa pendani so unapata huyu wa north kidogo wapatani na wa hii wenye wanatoka hizo zingine mm. so hawana like kama tribes but wako tuna hiyo am from the north and from the east evil yeah, yeah, yeah. so ina kuanga ni oh, oh, oh but sa, so nini uh, size i, I determine you na you from which side so i think naweza sema labda kwa jeans iko hiyo mm. mambo ya ya ma vikings nini mm. but sasa vile kawa kina wadgard blamezaliwa sawa amepata tu amina toka north but mm. maybe ukienda kwa the great great parents wao wanaweza kuwa na hiyo jibu kitu kayo mm. but kwa sasa like wana identify tu na hizo ma place wametoka kama ni north kama ni east mm. Mm. lakini mostly wenye wanaka oslo wanaongea hiyo book mo na hiyo ndo mtu wote mwenye anasoma hiyo ndo ndo fit kusoma norwegian book mo cuz hiyo ndo wanaongea Yeah. All over. Yaani ndo ni fit kutafuta job lazima ujue book more. Mm. Mm. Oh, you sani like a uh, dialect. Hiyo ni kama mm. ni kama tu the official ni ni Norwegian language yenye natumika sana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ni oh. kama nilikuja kule ku realize like unaona kama nikiishi France nili mm. have kusoma French. Yeah. So unapata venye French wali colonize wa kama wasi wa Congo. Mm wanaongea french yes but ni kama ni ile french ya kitamu mm. unajua the, the, the more masiku zinasonga ni kama mm. lugha ina change yeah. so unapata wase wa french wa saa hii wakiongea na ah se kidogo tena kuna vitu zina differ wafanani tena yeah. so ni kama kuna tu ile language mpya na, na mzee so kama si, kama si, ah, wa afrika huko wanaongea ile french ya kitambo alafu kienda uh, france kwenyewe wame improvise french yenyewe mm. though mtaelewana lakini sasa kuna vitu ni kama muelewani Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh. Unajua mofu kiasi angekuwa French. Eh. Eh. Sasa sasa tunakuwa tunapigia mofu tunamwambia eh. Eh. Yeah. Story za Jambel. Inaitwa Champs-Élysées. Yeah. Sile story mpa ya daga Buda Gariba. Aibe hepe huko. Stektab ilikuwa rais just live with a bag full of money. Mm. Yeah, jo. Alafu hii njaro zako za kiniviri mviri ushai ushai ambwa goja. <laughs> Ujisa hizi ni unacheki kwa sababu mm. ukiwa kwa kamera mm-hmm. hivyo mm-hmm. uh, uoga hard sana ku notice vile msana nini. Basa hizi vile nimekuja jona shindwa kwani budako alicheza awe ama ni budanviri alicheza awe. It's, it's funny cause mm. 
yani nilikuwa nikikuja huko Nairobi hata ukipeta hivi kama we stick on street na sikia mtu ana shout nviri mm. wapi hata yeye mwenyewe anajua but this is ni my best yeah, kuna yeah, time yeah. si unakumbuka kish Yeah. Saa kuna time uh, kisha meka ngoma nviri no, uja demo kisha rasi wa huku. Mm. Alikuwa meka I think near birthday song. Yeah. Sasa venye demo kisha lingia kwa nyumba akamwambia kisha e, kwa ni self made anakuaga msani na hajai tusha ngoma zake <laughs> tusikie. Yeah. So ilikuwa ni funny cause hey mm. yani mtu aingia na nini. Mimi enjoy mviri na mwambia siku moja mm. nitatafuta two show kwa Europe. <laughs> Nye, ni yeka ma post and video na kama alafu nda kwa clip sync mangoma zake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, joko zio nini alafu the fact ulienda mkitapa hairstyle ka same. Mm. Yeah. So wendo uliamua kuwa kama kuzime notice gi Kenya kuna kuga na hii trend ya kana fana na mtu I'm going to milk this cow the best <laughs> way I know how. Wewe si mtu wa hizo. Ah mimi sema mimi mwambia ga watu wanadanganya wana nviri anafanana na mimi. <laughs> yeah. Miss Fanani naye lakini watu wanamdanganya na Fanani na mimi. Eh oh. Yeah so pio kipata na kadem kisha nokiana mimi watu wakitenge. Hujafanya <laughs> mlami fulani anze kuvaa kitenge. Mm. Uh, Baadhi wa lami wanapenda hizi nini zetu? Hizi makitenge. Vitutu za Kiafrika Afrika. Eh yeah, eh. Yeah. Hizi ma beats beats mani nini nini? Cuz mechekio trend especially Europe. Europe kuna vile Afro beats imeanza ku spread sana, si ndio? Ama. imekuwa toka kitambo cause sasa hizi juu ya internet juu ya TikTok mm, ndio club ishike mm. ukiona tu club fulani najia ukiona kuscan mziki gani unacheza ni cause ngoma zao ni mbamba si danceable nini eh, eh. alafu wazungu wanapenda ku dance dance vitu kama hizo so eh, eh. wakienda place kuna vibe of course wataka kama kuna vibe wezi mm, mm. so a club mingi sasa hii yani ma club zote za zinashika lazima wacheze tu hizo eh. ma hizo makachikachi Yeah, hata hizi yeah. zetu za Kenya pia unaweza zisikia sikia huko hata kama mtu aelewi nini mm. wanabambika na hizo beat na hiyo mm. vile ni kachi una dance dance hata mm. kama una dancing off beat jua lama una dancing off beat yeah, najua hiyo <laughs> inakuwa gani nika yeah. <laughs> nika mecha pona ka stroke ni kama iko yeah. iko nini mm. eh yeah, but sasa anataka uh, now to bonge jua jua hizi inchi especially Norway mm. Norway from the outside looking in ina mm. kagaka hii country ya ajabu sana mm. ni ajabu design like very little corruption very rich mm. uh, religion basically inakufa so what at once na hiyo mm. how how big is religion in in Norway like watu ni as religious as Kenya uh, what's happening <laughs> unaweza check cause Norway mm. hata watu wanasema ni Christians wanaenda so church mara moja kwa mwaka inakuwa ngani hiyo time ya eh yeah. Christmas ndo yeah. anaenda tu church yeah. once yeah. a year. Yeah. So siwezi sema hata kwa religious kwanza. Hiyo ni namba one hata au Christians wenyewe si hata wanajua hata mambo ya ya Bible ama hata that yani tu wanajiita tu Christians. Yeah. Yeah, alafu yeah, sasa kuna wale Muslims wenye Mm. Wenye wamekuja kama refugees, tena yeah. wametoka kama Syria, ma Afghanistan. Yeah. Ando wana trying kuleta nini culture yao huko. Mm. Of which yao kitu nikatsiaga sana. Mm. Wamekuja hapo wamekuwa mkimbizi, umasaidio. Yeah. Yeah. Alafu yeah. nataka kuvuruga inchi ya wenyewe, unataka yeah. kuchange. Mm. Venye mnataka mm. ikue. Mm. Cuz unapata kaa huko venye watu wameza kuvaa uchi uchi. Yeah. So unapata time ya Ramadhan na sasa unakula moto watu watu wamedunga. Sasa unashindwa. Kama hiyo mm. inchi kubambi siende kwa inchi yenu cuz wame yeah. come queen vet ni ni special wenyewe so mm. eh yeah, cuz you know kitu i think more respect na afrika mm. afrika si waga wale watu tukikuja kwako tuna behave kwa wewe hata hata question mm. kama wewe ni msuto kaga kwa kwa hao alafu lazima utingishe raso ukitembea uki insist tutingishe tutatingisha tu tukiendelea tuta <laughs> tuta simulate si ataga mm. zile but warabu wanakuaga na hii nini wanataka kubadilisha mtu Ashindwa yeah. hizi hawezi fanya hivyo. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, so kitu ni boss sana anataka kuchange kila kitu. Hata mm. nikumbuka hata si kitambo I think hata before ni kuje. Mm. Karibu karibu hata tupigane na mse fulani kwa club. I think nilikuwa na Marcus. Eh yeah, eh. Yeah. Nilisema oh sije tulikuwa tunaongea nini na waita nikasema inshallah kwa club. Mm. Ile vile tu unaweza sema inshallah. Sasa so, mse amekula moto hata jioni nimesema inshallah na mm. Anaona nikati na disrespect na natumia jina vibaya. Tunawezaje sema hivyo kwa nini? Yeah. So wako na pettiness fulani yenye ni make sense. Mm-hmm. I love sasa uh, what about now real Norwegians eh? Mm-hmm. Wale watu wamezaliwa huko. Mm-hmm. Religion iko aje huko. Mimi naweza sema tu wengi ni ma atheists. Mm-hmm. They don't believe in. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kata mtu wangu at, 
as much as anasema ngani Christian hakuna kitu anajua na mambo ya religion yeah, ni, yeah. ni jina tu hawajui mm, like mm. atheism tu no no na ndio mimi nasema hiyo ndo like 99% mm. yes kuna wanyo wataka moto waseme ni Christians but hata ukiwauliza about Christianity they don't know anything yeah. i think hawana belief hiyo kwenda kwa church ni kama kufanya kitu fit mm. so christmas huwa lazima waende kwa church yeah, yeah. na hiyo sasa hii ni one side hii sasa hiyo Mm. Yes in Saudi na kwa eti so. Oh. Yeah. Alafu nini um uh, machuo chuo watu wako sasa hivi me? Wako old. Ah uh, kuna mwanyako 8. Mm. Kuna mwanyako 6. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So unaweza takujua chuo curriculum yako itakuwaje bado utafundishwa history ya earth was created in 6 days. Kuzojua Brito alibani your story. Mm. So sije kama noe bado anafundishwa cuz Brito alisema gazi yeye itafundishwa in any any whatever itakuwa wewe learn ukiwa home but ukikaa hapa unajua the scientific way earth ilianza ga hivi kafanyika hivi kafanyika hivi sija sija pay attention sana kwa nini system yao ya chuo but mm. vitumiwa na wakisoma hata kikuja na stories za homework nini mm. i think wana focus sana na interest kwa mfano kama mtoi wangu demo anapenda hizo painting sana. Mm-hmm. Wana focus hiyo na languages. So unapata kama yeye anapenda French. Mm. So anakuja hizo uh, anakuja ni msaidie hizo French. So ni languages na hizo makupaint paint. Yaani education system yao si au focus na nini sana. Mm. Nikao na focus na kitu yenye mtoto ana interest I think eh, ya mtu. Eh, eh. Cuz like wangu dota anapenda kuchora painting mm. so mostly wana focus na hiyo eh. na language. Mm. Yeah. Sijai for the ni system yao venye ina operate sana lakini kulingana na watu wangu mimi wana soma gaivo like vitu zenye wako na interest na good dem na kwa ukikuja kwa nyumba yeye paint sana yeye uchora sana like hiyo ndo kitu do. Oh, okay. Alafu na languages. Lazima mm. uchague at least unataka language gani. Mm, mm. Out apart from Norwegian. So wote yeah. wanasoma an international language. Either ni utachukua Spanish either whatever. Mm. Yeah. So amechagua kizungu ama French. Oh, oh, French. Ah, kizungu hiyo ni lazima. So wanaonga English, Norwegian, mm. alafu na mmoja nyingine. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Eh, Norway wa game nini? Alafu no other country na kwa how big is it a big country ama ni Sijui kwa nini in my mind na kwa ga small country. Ninasema ni kubwa mm. lakini in terms of like tuseme ni kubwa in terms of land. Yaani yeah, unaweza yeah. land yenye aina kitu ni kubwa. Mm. Mm. Lakini in terms of vitu zimejengwa na nini? Uh, population. Population ni 5M. Eh? Yeah. 5 million. Oh. Na hiyo ni inclusivity ya immigrants. Sasa sijui kitu immigrants tako watakuwa ngapi. Eh eh. I think hiyo ndio part of Mimi na ngani kama wa, wataki wase waka mko sana kupata papers za Norway ndio the hardest. Yeah, yeah. Uki ukiangalia Europe zote the most hardest ni Norway na nini? Denmark. Yeah, yeah. Kupata papers za hizo country na kwa ngumu sana. Cuz Denmark na jua ga, kuna ile ukienda kule unachotewa. So no appear the same. The same Scandinavia ni hata Sweden. Yeah. But hiyo lazima kuwe sa citizen. Si. Zi zi. Hata ka foreign. Eh. Hey. Mm. Si <coughs> uki, yani a point na kwa papa yako ya kukaa ni nini yeah. kama uko na papa so umekuja cast today sawa hivi yeah. na hivi kuna nini kila kula, kila nini kila benefits ni watu unapata pia utapata as long as uko hapo legally nini utapata hizo uh, uh, benefits uh, uh. so oh, sunza kuna pata kwa ka, nina sikia ni like a thousand euros per month ama yeah Just so today. anybody mwenye ako na reason uko na residency mm. you you uko na hizo rights za kupata mm. Mm. kama ni OC kama ni system unafaa kusoma bure uh, uh. so uko na hiyo rights uko na hiyo uko na reason but kama we ni mtu una pepa sasa hiyo rights utapata cuz hauna pepa so hauna sababu ya kuwa hapo oh okay okay and uh, it's so nini kuna time kulikuwa na terrorist attack in mm. Norway ili kupata ukiwa huko ama hiyo time uko me travel kuna kafala kali shoot up place flani yenye na, yenye najua ama siji kama ni unasema mm. ni bado ilikuwa tu ni mwarabu fulani mm. okay yeye yeah, kwa mwarabu angoja angoja ilikuwa ni mnorijan fulani yeah, yeah, yeah. alikuwa na attack story ya arabu alikuwa amechoka so alichukua oh. tu gana akaenda kwa park na kaangusha watu eh yeah, yeah. akondani ajua mm. leo mm. ya yeah, kuna kongana hiyo uh, juzi pia ime happen 
kuna mwarabu fulani ameenda kwa club za magay yeah. au kushuchutu watu. Mm. I think aliwaka watu wa kasi. Tukumbuke walikuwa ngapi? I think maybe ni 6 sama 4. Mm. Ni kama hapa ni yeye. Ali alishikwa. Alishikwa. Mm. So mpeleke hizo jela za za kimchezo za za Norway. Yeah, the most human prison on it again. Ah, easy. Kuna watu wafai kupeleko hizo jela. Ato ufala mungina liwana wafai kupeleko wapo. Kuzi, kwa soo ilewi ni jela ya noe si jela. Unza, unza describe. Unza describe ya mse haju hizo jela. Yeah, mine za ye katu ina, ina, ina layman's. Yeah, yeah. Ama nikijipea kitu. Nikuwa na semanga time. Kuna time nikuwa sinapepa. Mm. So nikuwa na mejambia. Life hiki nileme hapa. Mm. Ndafanya the most ile crime yenye ndani kandani yenye simba sana. Yeah. Nilikuwa nasema kaka kupiga dogi teke mm. kwa zuko pia wanavaliwa nyama sana. Sasa so, yeah. ukipigwa hiyo unaweza shikwa nayo makoso tu kwa ndani. Mm. Kwa zuko sasa kwa ndani mm. bado unalipwa so. Yeah. Cuz ukiwa ndani si una get do. So kutoka nje kama una deport hiyo do me una save tu then ukitoka nje una hey, uta, uta, utapata hiyo do. Yes unapewa do. Ukiwa ndani so Nezenda pale tu alafu vile umesema ni kick dogi alafu niishi jela miezi kadhaa nitoke na tao yangu tatu tao yangu nne. Eh si ndio si ni hivyo cuz point ya kupewa doni ati sawa na jua wame queen convenient cuz kaunge kwa nje ndio kuna an. Unge kuna an sasa juu kwa ndani you deserve nini a stipend. Eh Kanyai so na nchi zingine. Yaani mtu enda mm. ndio kwa Norwegian ina maanisha tu umezaliwa. Huko huko inakuwa hivyo cuz najua kuna countries kwa hivyo. Like some two Africans mm. who came to Norway, mm. and two years ago, Norway, who is Norwegian, isn't it? 